this isn't right, you know, and then I'm reading story after story after story about people who were Christians or group Christians and were begging God to make them straight. And of course it doesn't happen. And these people are just devastated and depressed and many of them do self-harm. And I'm like, how, why is God not taking care of these suffering souls? Troubles me. And it makes me have the temporary doubts. Jesus, are you really real? Are you saving from sin? All sin? Or is an advanced form of psychology and self brainwashing only saving from some sins? Jesus, you can save the drunkard from drinking ever again. You can save the drug addict from drugs. You can even save the womanizer from womanizing. Why in the hell can't you save the homosexual from his homosexual desires? If you're really doing the saving. What the hell are they supposed to do? Because let me tell you something. Life without sexual climax is a life in hell. A straight man at least has the option Paul the Apostle writes if they cannot contain themselves let them marry for it is bad for it is, for it is better to marry than to burn in lust what the hell right does the homosexual have to take oh uh, that's yourself cross a bear well fuck you too God I tell you what I'd do if I was a homosexual and I'm not and God didn't take away my fucking homosexual desires I'll tell you what I'd fucking do Back in the Old Testament, God allowed people to divorce. Jesus says this was not, Jesus said Moses gave you a writing of divorcement because of the hardness of your hearts. But this was what, this was not God's plan. I tell you what I'd fucking do if God didn't come through for me. I'd say, okay God, what I'm doing is wrong. What am I supposed to do when I, I cannot get rid of these sexual desires? Because let me tell you something. When you're young, all you think about is sex. If you're uh, straight, you can get married and fuck to your heart's content. As well, as long as your wife says so. But uh, what I would do, and I, I'm not advocating you do this. Because this is wrong, but I do this anyway. If God, if God didn't, if God, if God didn't fulfill His end of the bargain, fuck it, man. I would abstain from fornication. I would marry a man, fulfill my sexual desires, get that sweet salvation, the satisfaction, and say, "Hey, God, I'm doing this because of the hardness of my heart." You allowed your one rule to be broken by the divorce. Why can't you let me break this one rule of yours, God? See, once God starts letting people break one of his laws, then everything's up in that fucking air. I thought God was... Not one jot or one tittle should be violated. Fuck it, man. I'm, ang I'm just angry. I, but I, have to, I have confessed I'm angry at God because I can't get my hair transplanted. I'm not a good looking guy because I can't exercise and get these pecs without getting man boobs and without I can't exercise these pecs and get develop my pecs because my back muscles are hurting like hell making me unable to walk and God fuck you if I can't live a happy life fuck you